reality of reflection. The hijab in which Allah was dressing the Nur Muhammadi 7,000 of Allah's years and the dhikr of Allah upon that light, Subhanam man hu al qaniyum la yafqaru. Glory be to him who is rich and who never grows poor. Means these are immense lights and tajallis of Allah eternally dressing the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Alhamdulillah that Allah grants for us a key on the third of this holy month coming in either Sunday or Monday night inshaAllah is the passing and Ursul Mubarak of Sayyidatina Fatima Tazari salam that returning back into Allah's Divine the Kingdom from her mission upon this earth salam and the immense lights and blessings that Allah dressed upon her eternal soul from Allahu al-Khaliq and the realities of creation and the secret of creation and that every creature has been given the secret in procreation to bring creation upon that earth and upon this creation. That secret that given, given to Sayyidina Muhammad and that Prophet given to Sayyidatina Fatima Tazari Salaam. Allahu al Khaliq bihaq Sayyidatina Fatima Tazari Salaam. The reality of the womb, the reality of bringing creation into existence from Allah's secrets, immensity, immensity of the reality of Al Batul, the purified light that Allah has dressed upon Sayyidatina Fatima Tazari Salaam. And that Allah granted us an entry into this month of Qamarun to be reflected, Subhana man huwa qaniyun la yafqaru, the one whom Allah dress with an eternal wealth. Ana faqir billahi ta'ala Allahu al qaniyun wa ana faqir billahi ta'ala means that Allah is the qani, Allah is the rich, Allah is the one that we, we seek the sustenance of our soul. Means that this, this way is to admit to ourselves our nothingness and weakness and that, Ya Rabbi whatever I have is nothing and that I'm weak and that you are the rich and I am the poor, you're the strong and I am the weak. And that Allah dressing the servant and the tajalli of this light that Allah eternally dressing upon Sayyidina Muhammad is this Sifat al Qani. That Allah is wealth. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. And Allah's provision, Allah's bounty is dressing that light of Nur Muhammadi This is the light in which awliyaullah are seeking, Ya Rabbi let us to be Qamarun that dress us from this light of the provision to the soul, means the one whom soul is rich, everything for them is rich. The one whom soul is bankrupt, everything is bankrupt to them, means the only wealth that can be achieved is the wealth of the soul in which Allah's light and love and ishq is the bounty in which to dress upon their soul, the Divine grace that dresses upon them. The one whom their soul is bountiful, dressed from this, that's when Allah is granting this dress that is the dress and the reality of Prophet is an inheritance for ashiqeen, subhana man huwa qaniyun la yafqaru means the one whom is rich and whom is never poor. If Allah supporting that individual, that ashiqeen, that lover means Allah's infinite bounty 
endless bounty of Divinely Grace dressing their soul, dressing the rizq and sustenance of their soul from the Divine knowledges, Divine realities, the, the endless bounty of Allah that can't be imagined. And the one whom soul is filled with that bounty then everything from, from dirt to ashes to heavens, everything is, is bountiful for them. So it means this is the, the lights in which to achieve these realities Allah gave us the dress and the love of Sayyidatina Fatima Tazari and that by loving her, by asking that she intercede for us, that, that she'd make our accounts to be clean, make our accounts to be good with Prophet with Allah that the love of Sayyidatina Fatima is so intense and so immense and so bountiful that Allah's bounty is attached to that holy name, that whatever we put upon our lives of Fatima Zahra Allah's bounty opened without imagination. You can't even imagine how Allah is dressing and blessing. As soon as we put the name of Sayyidatina Fatima Tazara upon anything, Allah's bounty flows upon that reality. Means it's, a, it's an immense stress of love and ishq and the bounty that we're asking is the bounty of our soul that to, to guide us, to dress us, to, to intercede for us that from your pure lights, beatific lights of Holy Qur'an to dress us and make us to be qamarun. Means that's the reality of the, the moon and this path of the moon in the rising sun in the book of the rising sun of the west is the whole understanding of the sun and the moon. That we're entering into the month of qamarun, the month of the full moons of this nation and Allah is giving us a key that on the third day there's an urs of one whom holds the reality of these lights. If you love her more than you love yourself, if you respect her feed and, and give water and food to people in her holy name, ask for her intercession, ask for her love and her nazar, the bounty of Allah is attached to that reality. That infinite and, and unimaginable bounty of Allah that dresses the servant with that love and with that ishq means it's an opening way into the realities of this holy month of Qamarun. Ikhtarab al Sa'at when Allah is asking for us that the, the holy surah is beginning with is, look to the clock and that the hour is near, ikhtarab al Sa'at. We recite inshaAllah shaykh the, the couple of verses from Surah Al-Qamar inshaAllah, the first verse inshaAllah and second. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem, bismillahir rahmanir raheem, iqtarabati s-sa'atu an shaqq al-qamar. وَإِنْ يَرَوْا آيَاتًا يُعْرِدُوا وَيَقُولُوا سِحْرٌ مُسْتَمِرٌ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَلِيُّ الْعَظِيمُ Wa barakhtu Rasul Kareem that this holy month of the moon in Allah is, is giving uh, opening of this holy surah that uh, look for the clock and that the hour is near. And that the moon split. Just for us to understand in the days of difficulty Allah is granting for us is, pay attention to the clock, iqtarab al look for the clock, look for the time. And now when you go for hajj all you see is a saat, a clock. So it means that the time is near, the days of difficulty have opened and this way of love and ishq is an immense reality. The Ya Rabbi our life was about the testing and to inherit from the moons of this nation, the full moons of this nation in which they teach us it's nothing from ourselves. We're not the, the sun, we're not a source of light that if we take our testing, we take our good character, we take the example of the moon that has all of its bombardments, all of its craters, all of its a surface has been attacked and it follows a course and never deviates from that course. It follows the sun and 
that's all that it's interested in. The immensity of this reality, the immensity of the sun and the moon, the sun and the moon where Allah is continuously giving us means even from women to men because the month is starting with the Ursu Sayyidatina Fatima Tizari Salaam which giving the immense secrets of full moons of this nation in which they took a life of hardship, they took a life of testing, they took a life of continuous difficulties. And as a result Allah dressed them from His Divinely Bounty. Means the, the light and the bounty of Allah is with those whom are patient on their path, those whom they took a path in which testing comes and that they remain firm and be continuous and steadfast in their actions. As a result the moon gives for us the example, it stays the course and follows the sun. And as a result our life was to follow the eternal light, take our guidance from malakut, from the world of light, not the guidance from the physical world and what the world wants for us and what the, the world finds popular and what popular demand and what popular to, to the people of this earth. Not speaking what's popular to the people of the earth but everything about guidance is that follow the light. Here on earth they have follow the money when they want to find something. For us and Allah is giving to us follow the light, follow that which is eternal means for our reality to blossom and the reality of guidance to take place is follow the light. And what Allah gives for us a symbol of eternity is the sun. The sun has been eternally shining upon this earth from beginning of time to the end of time. The same sun that all the Prophets of Allah when they entered upon this earth they saw the same sun. It's Allah's symbol of da'im and eternity. When people want to ask, what, what is eternal? What is eternity? A symbol of eternity is the sun and is the light and that it has no mass and it's an ethereal creation in which it lost its mass and has the secret of fusion and has a power based on immense love. That it comes with a fusion into its reality and produces more and more and more energy. Not based on combustion and exploding but based on the fusion of energy and that's the reality of muhabbat, that's the reality of ishq. That how the servant can admit to themselves to be nothing, to take all of their bombarding, take all of their testing, make their, their path to be very real for this day and age, say, I want to be like the moon. And I'm not claiming to be a source of light, I just understand that I'm going to be tested and I'm going to always follow the light and that will be the compass in my life. That La ilaha illallah, where will that be? On the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah As a result the believer follows the way of Muhammadun Rasulullah by the ishq and their love, by making their salawats, by understanding the life and the way, the sunnah and the example of Sayyidina Muhammad which then become the tariqahs. They're the gardens that represent this ishq al-Muhammadiyya, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad when they have that love and they want to follow that light, Allah guides them to these gardens that go and sit with them, listen to them, be with them, accompany them. As a result you'll be dressed by those lights, you'll be blessed by those lights. And as soon as they hear the teaching and, adhe and adhere to the teaching they understood that they should be patient in their testing, they should be loyal on their path, they should have all of the characteristics that are the exemplars of faith 
the characteristics of Sayyidina Muhammad his holy companions, his holy Ahlul Bayt, they exhibited those same characteristics of goodness, kindness, loyalty, honour, honour, chivalry, all of the goodness as a result they're moving towards that light. Means they're consistent on their path and the light begins to reflect them. The more that they've been tested, the more that they have been grounded by the pelting of difficulties and the pelting of dunya, is the stoning of dunya, the dunya stones the believer that nothing comes easy for them. As soon as they believe there's a struggle, as soon as they want to follow there's a struggle, as soon as they want to adhere to the sunnah there's a struggle. As soon as they want to have a name there's a struggle. It wasn't about coming to the dunya and make everything to be easy because people now become so spoiled with easiness that as soon as a little bit of hardship they think, this is wrong, this is the wrong path, I have to choose a path that easy. But anything that easy means shaitan is happy with it. Anything that's coming too easy shaitan is too happy with it. Things that continuously come through difficulty means after difficulty comes ease, after difficulty comes ease Allah continuously reminds us. And as a result their firmness they keep moving and Allah's lights are shining upon that reality. And once they negate themselves as a source of light and through their testings they've been purified and humbled and brought to be like a dust, Allah's lights begin to shine and reflect off of them. That's why then the love of such holy peoples and holy examples are so important. In an ever busy life, an ever disturbing life people are choosing personalities and social media personalities as influencing them when they are the worst of people. Those whom we go back to the origin and say, these are the best of people to follow Sayyidatina Fatima Tizari Salaam and on the 20th will be her holy wiladat and birthday. And then the Urs of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq Salaam, all of these Allah gives us these treasures in this month of the moon, there's no coincidence that such a high level Ahlul Bayt, such a high level Sahabi in this holy month that Allah want us to dress us from the realities that we can never achieve. What, what, what Prophet gave to us? You be with whom you love. That's our key is that if we love them and show that we love them and do good works because of that love and putting our, our love and our faith in action then that hadith becomes active for us. And that becomes the treasure of this month is that love them and you'll be with them. And whatever bounty Allah dressing upon their soul Allah will dress anyone who's in their proximity because you'll be with whom you love. If you're accompanying pious and righteous people, good people, people whom are struggling against their bad character, every time Allah dresses them everybody in the vicinity of that dress is being dressed. That's physically, imagine just atomically that as soon as you love pious people your elements, your electron, your atoms cling to them because it creates a bond of ishq and love. As a result of whatever tajalli Allah dressing upon them, that dress immediately goes to those atoms means the micro is the same as the macro. If one of your atoms are attached to these holy souls with the love and the ishq and admiration because the love that we have is not only physical, when we love with our soul, our soul is attached to their light, our light is moving into the presence of their light and the lights are bonding. Imagine your electrons are bonding to the light of Sayyidatina Fatima Tizari Salaam. 
And every tajalli that Allah is dressing upon her holy soul, that light is reaching out to all whom love them. That's what Prophet meant by, you be with whom you love. Not the physical, his subatomic sub reality from the malakut, he's teaching that everything in light and its atomic reality is a bond and the strongest bond is love. You cannot cast your mind to be with somebody because I like them, this sounds like an intelligent guy, I'm going to keep my mind next to his mind. But Prophet was teaching us the subatomic realities, quantum theory that the strongest bond you can create is a bond of love, not that bond of aql in your brain. As soon as you love them with your heart and soul, with your actions that show it, your light immediately moves into their presence and locks onto their light. And that's what's meant by intercession, that they intercede for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad So your elements are locked onto her elements and then are continuously asking for najat, continuously asking for salvation from Allah's anger and qadab and that to be continuously asking for Allah's rahmah and mercy. So anything that comes onto her Blessed light immediately goes to all of those atoms that are connected to her. Because the hadith is, you'll be with whom you love and whom you love will never leave you alone, will never let you to be. Whatever she's being dressed on, anyone whom loves her is being dressed on to that reality. Immensity that can't be understood and the tongue hasn't any words to describe it. All that can be described is, I have no action and no amal. I have nothing to give but my love, Ya Rabbi. We try our best to do good and set a good example but by the ishq and love attach my soul to her soul. Attach the soul of my community and my children and my family to her beloved soul. And that she intercedes for us. That her nazar be upon us. And Yawm al-Mashar in day of difficulty, she be present with us. And our last breath leaving this earth, her nazar be upon us. And that she intercede for us. Remember the food and the water and the good deeds that we do in her blessed name. That Ya Rabbi dress us from her lights, keep the bond of our ishq and love to be an unbreakable bond. That love and that ishq has such an immense power. We pray that Allah accept in this holy month of Qama, which Allah is giving immense bounty. We haven't even gotten to Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Salaam. With this month of qamar, this month of light in which Allah promised the servant that they came to Allah's presence and say, I have been overtaken by shaitan, I've been fooled and, and put on by difficulty. And what Allah granted, Fata Abu Abu Sama Mayamun Hamidan, that when the servant cried out to his Lord that they have been overtaken. Means how much difficulty shaitan puts upon believers, upon their family and their communities. And awliyaullah are asking, Ya Rabbi Fata Abu Amma Sama, open the gates of your paradises and heavens with a water that only you can send upon our souls, that wash away every sin, that give every type of rizq and blessings upon the soul, the nobility of the soul, the nur and the and the Azimat of the soul to be raised, Ya Rabbi, only you can send those lights and those openings. And Fata Abu Samai Mayyam and Hamidan. And that Allah's my is a Muhammadan and Izzatullah dress, that my, my throne is upon my my, that from that reality of Allah's Divinely throne and power oceans that dress the soul and bless the soul, Ya Rabbi Allah for the sake of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad his Ahlul Bayt 
and his holy companion Zarabi. Bi hormati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.